Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, It's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go Raid Guide video, and today I'm going to be covering the Psychic type legendary Pokemon, Cresselia. Now the interesting thing about this Pokemon is actually its move pool. It actually has a lot of different charge attacks that will counter a lot of Pokemon that are typically used against Psychic type Raid bosses. I'm going to be explaining all of that in today's video, so let's roll the intro and jump right into it. Alrighty, so let's talk about Cresselia. This is, of course, a legendary psychic type Pokemon from the Sinnoh region, and quite a lot of players actually do like this Pokemon, even though it doesn't have a lot of uses in Pokemon Go. Of course, it is a PvP centric Pokemon, but because Cresselia in raid battles comes with a CP that is higher than 1500, a lot of players will opt to not raid this Pokemon, but wait till it is a research reward or some kind of Pokemon that you can get under 1500 CP. That is of course because Cresselia is a very powerful Pokemon for the Great League, especially if you are able to get Grass Knot on this Pokemon, but because the minimum CP that you can get from a raid battle is 1555, unfortunately this Pokemon is more of a collector's item once you get it in raid battles. But there is potential for Cresselia to be used in the Ultra League and even in the Master League, and and it's mainly because it does have a lot of type coverage with its moves. And because of those moves, it's going to be really tricky on what Pokemon you could bring in order to defeat this boss. Now, typically with Psychic type Pokemon, you would want to bring a lot of different Ghost types, Dark types, or Bug types, because all of these types are really strong against Psychic types. And of course, some of the common Pokemon that you would see include Mega Gengar and Darkrai, but a lot of these Pokemon can be countered by some of Cresselia's moves. So, I highly suggest that for Cresselia, you have multiple different teams for multiple different charge moves that it could bring. So what exactly does Cresselia have in terms of its charge moves? Well, it could come with either Aurora Beam, which is of course an ice type attack, it could come with Moon Blast, which is a fairy type attack, or it could have Future Sight, which is of course one of the hardest hitting psychic type attacks that are in the game. If it has Aurora Beam, that means you could bring Pokemon like Weavile and Gengar, but you will want to avoid bringing Pokemon like Giratina Origin Form. If it has Moon Blast, then you will want to be careful because a lot of Pokemon like Giratina and Darkrai are weak against Fairy types, so you will want to bring a lot of Ghost types. In this case, I highly suggest you top load your team with Mega Gengar and a whole bunch of Chandlers that should be very effective against Moonblast, but you could also opt to bring other Pokemon that has ghost type attacks but are not exactly a ghost type Pokemon, like for example with Mewtwo with Shadow Ball. Another great option is of course Tyranitar with dark type attacks, but that is of course if Cresselia doesn't come with Grass Knot. If it does have Grass Knot, it will actually melt down your Tyranitars really quickly, so that is something you will want to watch out for. Now, even though it has a lot of type coverage with its charge attacks, the one thing about Cresselia is that it actually has a lot less attack stats compared to other psychic type Pokemon. So even if you bring a whole bunch of ghost types and dark types and it has a move set that is going to counter any of these kinds of Pokemon, you might still be okay considering that Cresselia is not as hard hitting as other legendary raid bosses. Frankly speaking, anytime Cresselia is out in raids and when I have to raid it, I tend to bring a team that is just full of my best ghost types and dark types, and that tends to do really well against this raid boss. Now, a lot of other players may not necessarily have the absolute best ghost types and dark types that are at a high level, so make sure you bring the best of the best that you have, and if you are struggling against certain charge moves, then consider switching out your team with another team of a different typing. So, for example, you could have a full team of dark type Pokemon and a full team of ghost type Pokemon, and you could switch interchangeably depending on what charge attack the Cresselia raid has. Now, a lot of players will have some phenomenal Pokemon in their collection, and maybe this will not apply to them. But if you are a bit lower level and you don't have that big of a collection, then this is something you should definitely keep in mind. But yeah, considering that Cresselia is a pure psychic type, it is only going to be weak against dark types, ghost types, and bug types. 
types. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of bug types that are going to be extremely powerful compared to some of the best ghost types and dark types. But when it comes to either of these types, these are the Pokemon you should consider bringing. First and foremost, there is Mega Gengar. And of course, when it comes to psychic types, Mega Gengar is going to be an absolute staple. That is, of course, because it does have that Mega Evolution bonus, which will boost up all of the other ghost types in the raid. And then, of course, it is the highest DPS ghost type that is currently in the game. So if you are running a Mega Gengar and all of your buddies have a bunch of ghost types, then you will completely melt down Cresselia no problem. It's actually kind of funny because Cresselia with psychic type attacks is actually a counter against Mega Gengar, considering that Gengar does have that poison typing along with its ghost typing, which makes it weak against psychic type attacks. But don't let that fact deter you from using Mega Gengar because of the damage output this Pokemon can bring. Make sure you're dodging to keep your Mega Gengar in the battle as long as possible so that you could dish out as much damage as possible along with your raid mates. Now alongside Mega Gengar, there is of course Chandler, which is another powerful ghost type Pokemon. This is a non-legendary ghost type Pokemon that I really feel like gets overlooked considering how powerful it is. Now when it comes to dark types, there is of course Darkrai, which is an absolute staple. This mythical Pokemon is the highest DPS dark type that is currently in the game. I know a lot of other players will tend to use Pokemon like Yveltal, and Yveltal is a very powerful dark type Pokemon, but I would actually avoid using Yveltal for Cresselia, mainly because of Aurora Beam and Moonblast both being really strong against this Pokemon. So yeah, you're better off just going with a whole bunch of Darkrai if you are going to use dark types. That is a very powerful Pokemon to use against Cresselia. Now, aside from Darkrai, there is also Weavile, which is another really high DPS dark type Pokemon. And if you are running a full team of Weavile with Snarl and Foul Play, you're going to do really well against Cresselia as if you had a full team of Darkrai. The one thing of note with both of these Pokemon, Darkrai and Weavile, they are both glass cannons. So if you're going to go the dark Pokemon route, do expect to use a lot of revives and potions because a lot of these Pokemon will get knocked out even if they are resistant to a lot of Cresselia's attacks. Now, the safe number of trainers that I would bring in order to defeat Cresselia would be about five trainers. But if you want to challenge yourself, then you can actually trio this raid boss. Of course, if you have the absolute ideal conditions, it may be possible to duo this Pokemon, but I highly suggest against it, mainly because it does have an insane amount of HP and defense stats. Much like a lot of other tanky raid bosses like Lugia, Cresselia is going to be difficult to defeat with the least number of trainers as possible, so I highly suggest you recruit as many people as you possibly can. Make sure you are sending out as many remote raid invites as you possibly can in order to defeat this boss. If you are looking for the perfect IVs for Cresselia, then you will want one that is 1633, and if it's weather boosted, it's going to be 2041. And of course, because Cresselia is a pure psychic type, it means it's only going to be weather boosted by windy weather. As of the time that I'm recording this video, Cresselia can potentially be shiny, and it is a very nice trade chip for a lot of different players. I know a lot of people out there who would like to have a shiny Cresselia, and having a bunch of these in my collection has allowed me to pick up some really nice trades. So it is something you should go for if if you do not have a shiny Cresselia, or if you already do have a shiny Cresselia, it wouldn't hurt to have a bunch of duplicates for trades. And of course, you could potentially get the exclusive legacy move Grass Knot. It really is the move that makes Cresselia special, considering that it does have a lot of type coverage in PvP. But also, like I said, the minimum CP that you can get a Cresselia through raid battles is 1555, so unfortunately you will not be able to get a great Cresselia in raid battles, but who knows, maybe in the future Niantic will actually have lower CP Pokemon in raid battles. We'll just have to wait and see, but that would actually be pretty cool. Anyway, there you have it. This is my comprehensive guide on how to defeat Cresselia. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Is there a tip that I completely missed? Make sure you share it for all of us. And of course, if you already have a shiny Cresselia, definitely flex it down below in the comment section. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. 
And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. If you want to join my Patreon and become a permanent friend on my friends list, then do check out the link in the description below. So yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.